Hi, I wanted to make a video to help some of the newer people to the So What Pro program um, learn how to do some of the things that there really aren't videos out there to teach how to do. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to print a template. This is a very simple process. Um, you would maybe want a template if you had a very specific requirement for where you wanted to put your design. Um, once the template is printed, you can double stick tape it or pin it to your fabric and then hoop it or float it. Um, to print a template, super simple. Go to File, go to Print, and you can also print from this icon up here on the toolbar, the same thing happens. And all you have to do is click this Print Template Only button, or checkbox and click OK. And make sure your printer is on and has ink and paper and you're all set. The second thing I'd like to show you how to do is how to save an image file. Sometimes your designs may not come with an image file showing you what the design is and I find them useful for when I want to see what I've got when I don't have the easiest access to Sew Up Pro and I don't want to open the program to see what it is at each time. Um, very simply, open your design in Sew Up Pro like I have here. And the first thing you want to do is go to Options, go to Image, and click on JPEG. Most likely you're not going to want to have your grid lines displayed, so just uncheck that if it is already checked and click OK. Then all you need to do is go up here to File and Save As and you'll end up with a box that looks like this and you just click this save as type you click the little arrow next to it and you get a whole bunch of different types most of those are stitch formats however the last few on the screen are image formats I'm going to select JPEG because that's what I use and you'll see that I already have an image of this so it's going to tell me that it's already there um, but all you'd have to do is click save and I'm going to say no to that, but you just click save and name it what you would like to and you're all set with that. The third thing I want to cover is how to save the design as separate patterns when you've merged more than one design into it. First thing I'm going to do is actually merge a second design and we'll just pick something here move that over there. Now I've got two designs that I've merged. You would want to do this if you want to be able to edit it later without having to cut the design. Um, if you're working with fonts, sometimes you decide, oh, I've spelled something wrong or, you know, I want to change the font of that particular letter or I want to change the color of that particular word or something like that. This will allow you to do that. I'm not sure if all the formats allow you to do this. I know PES will allow you to do it. So now that I've got my two designs merged, all I have to do is hit File and Save As, and that same Save As box comes up. However, at the bottom, you'll see it says Save as a Single Pattern. If you check that, it will save it as a single pattern, and you will not be able to move those things around or change things, the positions, or rotate it, or change letters out, or anything like that. So if you uncheck that, it will save it as two separate patterns within the same design. And that will allow you to edit those later. So you would just click click save at that point once you've unchecked that. I just keep mine unchecked. It doesn't come back on its own, so once you've unchecked it, it will stay that way. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to do how to use the stitch simulator. This is a very useful tool if you are working in sew art, for instance, and you want to see how a design that you've digitized is going to stitch out and follow the, the path of how it's going to sew. Um, sometimes you may want to do that as well just to see where your your jumps are going to be or you know, just have an idea of what it's going to do. Up here on the toolbar, you will see 
this little area right here with the little green arrows. This is the stitch simulator. It looks very much like the buttons on a remote control to your DVR or your TV. This one on the left is to start the sewing. This one will rewind it. And there's a few options that you can do there as well. Once you've started sewing, there is a pause so you can stop and look at it. And then you can also stop it. And you can adjust the speed at which it stitches. I've got it set for 300. I'm going to bump it down a little bit here so you can see. And then I'm going to hit play. And you'll see that it's showing you exactly what the machine's going to do. Pretty nifty little tool. And then I can pause it. If, for instance, you wanted to see just how one particular color is going to stitch, you, you have just edited that area and you want to make sure that it's going to look right, you can just click that color over on your color chart and then hit the play and it's going to stitch out just that area and it will stop. I hope that you have found this useful. I think it will be useful for people who are just new to the program and don't know all these little things um, just from playing around. Thank you. Have a great day.